So I'm going to give an example here of how to use the recommended allowable deflection limit table. This is table 8.1 in the textbook. Um, and you can see here we have a beam, and what we're looking at is the uh, total deflection, the maximum deflection at typically at the center line. So under a uniform load, it would happen at the center line. But we're really want, curious about what's the maximum amount of load that this particular uh, beam can be allowed to have. So you can see in this table here, it depends on the classification or the use of the building. Typically, we're looking at floor beams under ordinary usage. Here's what we define as ordinary usage. And the way this works is we do not allow the maximum deflection to exceed the span divided by 360 for live load or the span divided by 240 for this and that would be the total load. So dead load plus live load. So we have two different case, cases and we have to look at both of them independently. So let's do a quick example here. Let's say that we had the beam where L is equal to 20 feet. Typically deflections are measured in inches. So what we need to do is we need to convert that 20 feet to inches. And then when we're looking at just the live load, so the deflection produced by live load, we use L over 360. And the deflection used for dead load plus live load, or total load, of L over 240. We allow a little bit more deflection over dead load and live load because the dead load deflection usually happens before uh, the, the finishes are put on the building and so then we can uh, they get they get worked out when you finally put the finishes on so real quick example here if L equals 20 then the maximum live load deflection or Delta live load max allowable is equal to L over 360 which is equal to 20 feet times 12 inches per foot divided by 360, or 0 0.667 inches. The delta total max allow is L over 240. In this case, it's 20 feet times 12 inches divided by 1 foot over 240, and that gives us 1 inch. So for a typical floor beam, or for a commercial roof with plaster, those are our limits. Um, if it's a roof that does not have plaster on it, so we can allow a little bit more, more deflection, we would have these other limits up here. That's it.